Uh, I want to get this first, though, because Big Pink Rocket's going to expand in three turns. <laughs> it's, it's like, okay, careful how I say that. Big Pink Rocket is going to grow bigger, get larger, get longer. Bye. Hello, everyone. My name is Grayson, and welcome to episode 14. Oh, we have 69 Cosmite. Nice. Welcome to episode... What episode are we on? 10 of this Let's Play of Age of Wonders Planetfall. We are playing as Prince Codpiece of the Oathbound Promethean, and we are here to burn away the filth from this planet, such as the Xeno Plague player over here. So, what are we working on even? I don't remember. We've got this little army here. Aha, right. They are guarding the city while Marauder stacks come, and then we'll beat them up. Um, just wait there, please. Okay, Prince Codpiece uh, was going to go in here soon-ish. Uh, oh, we can deploy Monitor. I would like to get some vision on this. But I'd like to get it, like, um, actually, that's a good question. Where do I want it? Probably in here somewhere. I might, I might send this plasmoid out on a little bit of a scouting mission and then deploy the monitor up close. All right, we almost have incineration strike ready. Let's go. So marauders moving in here a little bit. Oh, they didn't, okay. That's fine, we will crush them. Awaken the past, complete. 420 for the Monument of Forgotten Fallen. We get a Serpian, don't mind those actually, I will say. Uh, eventually I'll have to swap my capital over to here. Uh, so let's, let's keep you there. No, let's send you over to Sears Rest, is gonna be like sort of the front lines. Why are you unhappy? Because we don't have botanical gardens. Okay, so let's see here. Let's attack this little group here. Excellent. And some experience on these guys. Should be able to do this in auto. I saw a complaint on the subreddit um, like a day ago about how the game can devolve into a it's almost like the AI is too good, and so <laughs> the the game can dev devolve into auto combats constantly just because my kitten is yelling at me. Sorry. Um, just because, like, it's just faster. Um, but I still play manual battles, like, pretty fairly often. I'd say at least once an episode just because it's fun. And I, I don't know if you guys just want to watch me Empire develop constantly and do nothing else. So, oh, God, I'm not giving you 31 Cosmite. I'll do your stupid quest. Oh my god, what is my kitten talking about? Capri, what? What's wrong? Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. When she calls for me like that, it's because she wants one very specific thing, and it's for me to get the blue drawstring from a pair of sweatpants that is her favorite toy, and you have to play with her with it, and she does this thing where she grabs it, and then she like, carries it, back to a certain spot in the bedroom and puts it on the ground and then you like take it somewhere else and then she grabs it and takes it back like that's the game uh so that's what you have to do when she goes woo woo so i don't yeah i don't know i don't know how to explain it but uh, that's the game what are we doing here uh the quest questing uh, I want to get this first, though, because Big Pink Rocket's going to expand in three turns. <laughs> it's, it's like, okay, careful how I say that. Big Pink Rocket is going to grow bigger, get larger, get longer. Fuck, how do, uh, it's going to absorb another sector here. There we go. So let's go ahead and, oh, we're not done healing yet. I kind of expected that to heal faster. Is there a hazard here? No, I'm just a slow healer. Ugh, I don't really want to go into this, like, half-baked. Ugh. Ugh. Uh, okay, let's just, let's just take a quick break. Does this heal me? No. Let's just wait a second. Big pink rocket. You go there. Uh, Aegis tank core. Sweet. Dawn of a new union. We can resurrect people. Upgrade father bill. Tentacle lover. Ugh. Flanker, that's not really going to happen. Uh, first strike, melee overwatch, no. Personal weapons expert. If not into vehicle, you gain 10 damage and 10 accuracy percent. So let's uh, let's go ahead and pop that on. That's a that's a nice bonus. Um, 
And then this guy is going on a little adventure to scout around over here. This is probably what's her face's units. Orders required. We've almost managed to get this guy home. Kind of funny looking at him on this boat. Orders required. Just wait there. Military research. Um, entropy is, I mean, it's not really what we're focusing on this game. I want to focus on, what's this one? Friendly battle suit units in a two hex radius are healed for 20 and get two shield. Interesting. Uh, Oath of Devotion. Mind control immunity. Last stand once per combat. Leave get a one health. When it would otherwise die. When triggered, the unit becomes disgraced, not gaining any experience at the end of combat. But it grants one armor. Hmm. Hmm. I'd rather them die. Oh, here's um, plus two thermal and biochemical resistance. Uh, if we're going to go up against uh, what's-her-face, then let's get that one. Society research. Oh, I don't know. Probably... It might be time for some some vision. Wait, we don't have to get this. Uh, let's get those two, and then let's get like this stuff. There, fine. Set production for big pink rocket. Let's free up a uh, people. From happiness here. Production Cosmite ready. Center. Awesome. Alright, the next event. Satellite Overcharge. All strategic and tactical operations... Tactical operations have their energy and uh, influence costs removes, removed. Oh my god, I can't speak today. Now that means we, we can still run out of points, but it won't cost us any money to do it. So that is pretty helpful. So this would be a good turn to go in to someplace like here and just dump all of our operations. Because um, it doesn't cost any money. So let's head over this away. I would love to put a monitor like right here. Awesome. Okay, so that gives us a little bit of vision into their empire over their capital. And they, they may not spot this for a while because they basically have to be like right on top of it to see it, like right next to it. Um, so then let's get back to the city. Received a proposal from Adam. No. Confirm movement. Confirm movement. Uh, orders required. I don't remember what you were working on. You're killing marauders, that's right. Are there any locations we need to clear? Here's one. Heavy weapons factory. It does give 20 production. Heavy units built. See, we're not going to build heavy units here, but we could use the production. Because um, this city is going to be like science and food, so it's, it's not really going to make very much on its own. So I'm going to head on down here. We can also clear the quest out with this group. I was waiting to do it with um, with the other group, but I think that'll work. And then, am I allowed to cast this on target not valid? Okay. So let's go on in here. And it's a close battle. They don't have the overcharge. Now these guys are going to be frustrating with the arc retaliation defense. Reactive shielding. Ooh, accuracy. Okay, so these guys are very accurate and they can blind. So these guys are likely to hit and cause status effects because that's a 12 strength chance on this guy and an 8 on this, which is pretty high. So I'm thinking we do that mod, that operation that makes us resist status effects for two turns. All right, precog is up. They're big walkers and they're little sh guardsmen type units here. All right now, Prince Codpiece is extremely tanky, so I still think it's his job to run up 
and um, tank the shots. I could put him here. Now, long range. So this doesn't count as putting an object in the way. These are not, this is an obstacle, but it must be because he's so tall. Right? Yeah, because it doesn't say object in the way, it just says long range, but also, yeah. This guy's got a 95% chance to hit and a 38% chance to blind. So there's a pretty good chance I get blinded. Um, I might just go all the way up and just start launching bombs. Can't quite hit from there. But from here. Yep, that's a good spot. Oh, do these guys have the accuracy thing? Oh, they do. Okay, yeah, excellent. So they were they were helping each other be more accurate. Perfect. Let's get behind this big cover thing here, and I think I'll launch a banner. Do some damage and then start buffing my own units. This guy is Oh, we killed that thing already. Holy hell. This guy's a bit of a sniper. Now, they have a missile, but it'll negate the first attack. This one also has a missile. Can't use it for one turn. I wonder if that's this turn, though. I might go to here. There's a good chance of it scattering because they're going to have trouble aiming past the full cover. And then the plasmoid... <laughs> You can just go to here, it's fine. You can be bait. All right, that was an excellent first turn. Excellent, so this guy, burning. Got a fair bit of damage on him, this one. Also burning, half health. Got our banner. Who got buffed? Pause. Battle log. Uh, gold bond, purifier gain. <laughs> oh, I forgot to call them gold bonds. Purifier gains banners percep perception, so that must have been I don't know which one. Maybe this one? Okay, they're double. Okay, okay. Guys, run through the fire. Oh, all right. Operations ready. We used all of our bombs, so we could heal ourselves here. Dispel effect. Now, who got the the bonus thing? Banners perception, twenty percent extra critical hit chance. So, we might want it to run up and smack here. Um, it's a one. It's a one attack action so like if it um if it stuns itself it's not a big deal i didn't get stunned actually now, this one is a machine so it should take extra arc damage yeah arc weakness of two and this one's a cyborg Two health. Snipe that thing off over here. Yep, you can probably hear my kitten. Enemy eliminated. Kitty, I just played with you. I'm never gonna get this episode done. Kitty, YouTube is waiting. They are waiting for this episode. I'd really like to get into here, but I can't quite reach. I'll go slap this guy. Because they're annoying. Didn't stun myself again. As Excellent. Um, no, this guy's a little bit vulnerable if they pop away and shoot at it. You know what? There's not really any reason to put him in danger. Just leave him back here. There's no way they're going to get a lot done here. Because do I do do I do I um, high impact stagger? So this guy won't get staggered. Uh, okay. So he will get... He may get th all three shots. So if he, like, 
just decides to fire, he could get a little bit of damage on somebody. But fortunately, this guy's kind of hidden here. Yeah, I got the turbulence. I gotta get control of that operation. Yeah, they're staggered. It's okay. Some flanking shots there. God damn, this game is good. Just absorbed it. All right, now let's um get our heals off before we leave. This is a free action. Um, oops, not defense, not defense. This army is a little scary. Oh, we got a uh, almost tier four of this guy. What's this guy get at tier four? To look at that. Uh, tactical AED, revive target biological or cyborg unit. Um, it's a tier three, but we don't like. We have mostly mechs and like. I'd rather sell it for the cash, to be honest. It's a lot of money. Um, let me see what this guy gets at Prime. Critical. Oh, how much is that? 10% critical hit chance. Okay. Interesting. So, it's only plus 10 right now, but if we get them the banner's perception, uh, they'll go up to 30% crit chance, which can't really rely on I guess but it's something um, all right let's head down here and we're going to ask these guys to leave so we can get control of this here we've got plenty of uh, influence and uh, we want to do this fight next turn forgot to queue something up elevate to warden elevate to warden and then protector program and deploy monitor And then we got our we got our um, production levels back, so we can actually go in here and get a um, colonizer. Go ahead and let that finish, and then this uh, that one will head over this way and probably settle right here. We'll get uh, oh crab coast. We get some water sectors, and then this vaults of the venerated, which gives the crystal altar, which gives units produced in this colony a plus two resistance to status effects and critical hit chance. That's fine. We can have um, critical uh, boats. Um, actually, you know what? Our boats are garbage because our tier three is a flying unit, so we actually don't get a better boat. We are stuck with the starting one that's like a tier two, so we never get good navy. We have to use these champions, which are fantastic units, but there's no reason to have a naval city after all. So we'll just grab this just for the, just because it's good. Um, so let's, uh, we're doing this site here. We need one more turn. Orders required. We've made it safely back. Let's just go ahead and send them to Codpiece Rest. You are waiting there. And Elevate to Warden is ready. Do we have anybody? This guy. But I'd like him to be a protector. Do we have that ready? Elevate to Protector. There we go. And he inherits the mods. Now we can switch him over to the jockstrap. Um, we would lose the Oath of Loyalty stuff we have going on. So maybe I'll leave it. Maybe I'll leave it. This guy needs a yeah, template here. Let's mod this guy. There's another one somewhere. 
Was it this guy? Yeah, this guy doesn't have any mods. We are running out of Cosmite, but we do have a couple fairly strong armies. This one started out as all tier ones, and now they're they're slowly increasing. I'd love to get these guys to tier four so they can uh, metamorphosize into the Bashers, Crystal Basher and Magma Basher. Those are very fun units. Although I don't know if I have the mods to really play with them accurately. At least I have Arc mods for the Crystal Basher. Um, okay, end turn. Random Marauder activity, as usual. What's this? What happened? Completed the Empire Diplomat. Gain 100 opinion with other players. Show Empire task. What did I do? Sign on aggression to pack. Maintain peaceful relationship for 10 turns. Uh, we also got all colonies gain 50 happiness. Okay, well that's going to probably trigger some events. Counter ops. Upgrade your hero. Oh. Um, well, Fallout Protocols is always good. All units gain thermal protection and plus one fire. Yep. And then... Let's do the Phoenix Surge. Oh, we've never upgraded her. Modular extension? She's already level 8? Holy... Uh, vitality. Close combat. I still have 15 points. Advanced piloting? Um, we could eventually put her in a, uh, yeah, because then we can put her in one of the, um, what are they, what did I just call it? Champions. All around awareness can no longer be flanked. So she's going to teleport in, counterattack. Okay. Oh, she's going to be strong. Uh, we'll just w hold off on that mod there. Uh, so we got 60 science, except a massive penguin behind it. What? Kingpin Club. A massive penguin behind a poker table beckoned to us to join the game. I think I should have read the previous screen. He's the betting type of player. As we get comfortable, it pointed to a sign stating, All bets in Cosmite or your lives. Um, let's play. Let's play. The large penguin's game was strong. Too strong. Despite our best efforts, the tuxedo wa Look at this art! Despite our best efforts, the tuxedo-wearing avian won all the cosmite we had to wager. With a beaky grin, it squawked what sounded like, Shame, you play so bad. I still had fun, so take this. It handed us a fully charged energy cell, then winked. A penguin winking? The world folded inward around us. We all passed out, awakened later in an empty cave with a single glowing energy cell in our midst. Okay, so we just turned 15 Cosmite into 105 energy. Whoops. Uh, that was interesting. Oh, we got another one over here. Uh, so let's keep going. Inspect over here. Oh, it's the darkness area. Okay. Production ready. Unifier. Trustworthy. Got Marauders. Uh, this is just one unit. Is that really one unit? No, there's two of the invisible guys, but those guys aren't very strong, so I'm going to leave them to roam. They'll die on Militia. And we are modded up here. Father Bill has... Oh, we could use an offensive mod, couldn't we? I mean... We're not really setting things on fire with this group. 20% increased damage. I mean... This mod doesn't really make a lot of sense for him. I think I'm not going to do it. Now, this has a Paladin Protector program. So there should be a Paladin Protector in this fight with me. Right? Yes, here it is. Okay. So I think we have to save that battle for the next episode because we are all out of time for this one. So let me finish up some notifications and then we will uh, end episode and then we'll do that fight on the next one. Protector program. Battle won by Ava. Okay, so she's still conquering stuff in here. But we can bum rush her capital once we declare war on her because she hasn't captured this sector for some reason. Um, so let's just... Uh, okay, yeah invasion okay so let's end episode here i want to thank everybody so much for watching hope you're enjoying this series if you are like and subscribe to all the 
good YouTube stuff, comment. What's your favorite Age of Wonders Planetfall series? And I will see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching.